So today I'm taking you on a tour of Monday Z. It's a farming community in Denier Riviere. This place was heavily farmed. Some serious farming was taking place here um, many years ago. But people have lost confidence in the farming sector. And so things have deteriorated seriously. And so what we have now is an area that is heavily um, uh, forested with nothing really happening in the area of farming. So let's go on this trip to see what's happening. Toutes ça c'était fig. Fig et ben mon ka fait des fois jardin planté en planté des fois bay. So successive government come and tell you how farming is good, how they're helping in farming and all of that. But these are the realities of what is actually happening on the ground. Are they really supporting agriculture? Yeah. So all here used to be bananas, as you see. So right now it's only bush you're seeing on both sides. Tout ici, comme ils ont, comme l'année passée, moi, j'ai dit, every week, every week somebody was buying a van in the valley. In the Navy, almost every week somebody was buying a new van. Et là, là, au point van, now, when the people buy the van, people would just say, alak point yon, tiko point yon. Tout monde s'en s'en van, everybody. Remember one time, government took farmers' money, to banana farmers' money to build roads everywhere? Who now? Where is the hotel industry and others to build roads for the farmers now? Yeah. Bananas on both sides of the road. The place was heavily, heavily cultivated. Right now, I just see a, a, a small lightweight thing happening there. You understand? But all here used to be a lot of bananas, man. And the other thing is, the most important thing is that whole road was well paved. That whole road was well paved. Well paved. Don't rub your teeth to anything beside, sir. Right. Okay. So, where all here used to have a lot of bananas, like Fictica, Blay. Very nice banana plants, man. The hills were great. But look at the road. That used to be like well paved road, and look at how bad the road is now. You remember Scott had a lot of bananas there. Scott used to sell um, trucks of bananas around here. So anytime you see the place in a situation where where places places where you had good uh, they are Franklin Tenefic, Franklin, all here was Franklin. Yeah. Franklin had bananas around here. So where more connect plus line at all? Yeah man, I know the place well. To go in Scott Bondry. Right yeah. there. We have the boundary with Scott. So right now what we're going on there is just that look like it's maybe the only the original foundation of the road. Yeah. All the stones that you see there. Yeah. But that's not how it was before. Uh, before it was well paved road man. So if you had a place where you were making uh, where you had all that famine going on and now you, it is like that. That means the country is losing millions of dollars. Every month the country is losing millions of dollars. But as you know, the only thing they're interested in is tourism alone. Millions of dollars of diversification program. And what is going on? Nothing. Where's the diversification program results, Koyo? Down there? Yeah, the cool piece of banana. Gasson, it was so nice, Gasson. It was so nice. Uh -huh. When the man come to St. Lucia saying they want to um, build hotels by our beach fronts, we're bringing them here to build hotels. The beach fronts are for locals. The beach fronts are for locals to build hotels. We bring them man here to build their hotels. If it's hotels you like so much. Man, vans, vans upon vans of bananas every week coming out of here. But Scott himself had trucks yeah. of bananas coming out of there every week. Could you see how well, Pastor Salah, all day was bananas, but.
to this year's day fig. Premier for my wife, sir, come on. Yeah, because the, the last time I came here, all here was in serious banner production. So now I see that there without no banners. They're looking strange to me now. Strange, strange, strange. Then how that used to be. And all that road. That road used to be nicely paved, man. Nicely. No holes. They are like banner testing fig, but they are like, come on. Wait. Me, um, a banner, okay, rabbit, you can fig, but they are like. Yeah, man, that's how it is. And then they want you to believe. Because if you can, even if you go in House of Assembly and you talk, about, you talk all your talk, and the country losing millions of dollars because, you're, uh, because the agriculture and what it's supposed to be, that means the country going down. You cannot have a, a country where you can produce food and you bring in all them food from overseas, whereas the people can grow their own food. People repeat after me. Without a strong agriculture, there is no St. Lucia. Without a strong agricultural sector, there is no St. Lucia. Stop being deceived. Stop putting all your energy into tourism. And where, where has all this tourism man is overseas, it lands. Some of it never come here. We need to strengthen our agriculture too.